today I'm gonna film something that I've never filmed before. Welcome to a day in the life of a 23 year old photographer, me. <laughs> You just got lucky because I picked the busiest day ever. I think it's the perfect day to bring you along for. And there is a reason why realistic is in the title. I just came back from Australia for my trip and I just dumped everything and now I need to sort it out. Because I love working there. Last year I made it such a nice little space before you know it, it's a mess again. It's like a bomb exploded, so we need to fix that. Secondly, I'm picking up a new camera today. And we're gonna give it a try at a photo shoot tonight. I think you have never seen a location like this before. I actually completely forgot to tell you that I sort of live in two places. Half of the year I'm in Netherlands and the other half I'm in Melbourne, Australia. My boyfriend lives there, I have a beautiful workspace there as well, but when I'm in Netherlands I stay here. I love traveling around, it is perfect for me, but that means I'm dumping gear from one place to another, hence why this happened. Since I still live at home and this is also my bedroom where I keep my clothes, where I do my makeup, where I work, where I store all my gear. I need to be efficient with the room I have. And that's exactly what I'm not doing right at the moment. So this is everything that was on that shelf. It is always more than you think. I'm just gonna clean the shelf because it's super dusty and then I'm gonna go through everything because I feel like I don't need everything. Okay, so I just found this camera and I made a video about it as well. And the photos I took with this camera were horrific. In that moment, you feel so main character, you're like, this is gonna be a short <laughs> Bunda. Bunda. I'm so hungry, like I'm even shaking a little bit. So let's make some food. So usually I would sit here and then watch some YouTube or go on my phone. But as of lately, I've been trying to just during when I eat, not do anything else. Cause how else are ideas supposed to enter your mind? But when I'm just sitting here enjoying my meal or just sitting outside in general, I feel like the ideas just come to me and that wouldn't have happened if I was watching a YouTube video because I am distracted. All right, so I've got two hours left before I have to pick up the camera. So what I'm gonna tackle now, and I'm so not excited for this, is my little shelf. The, just this whole thing is falling apart. There's too much stuff in there. I don't even know what's in there. So let's get into it. Up next is my desk space and this is one of my favorite features from my room. This is where I spend long, long hours into the night. So it deserves to be clean and ready to be used. So I'm gonna just get to work right now. Because I'm self-employed, I need to, of course, keep all my receipts so I can deduct as much tax as possible. This is my system. I keep all my receipts in here. So when I go out and I bring a receipt home with me, I just chuck it in this box. And at the end of the three months, I give this box to my accountant and 
he will sort it out. Everything that I keep in here is all my inspirational stuff, like this book, for example. I definitely took a bunch of inspiration from this book for my photo shoots. And some flyers when I hosted a cinematic portraits workshop with Canon, which is still, when I say it out loud, a dream come true. So this is a reminder for me to keep working hard so I can do more cool shit. Yes. Now I'm gonna pick up the camera that I'm gonna be renting for tonight. That's the place to be for me. I've spent so much money there. It's also very sentimental to walk in there because I bought my first camera there, the Canon R6, which I'm still using till this day. And I feel like I'm about to spend more money than I'm actually planning on because that's always the case when I walk in there. So we'll see. Okay, so I've got the R6 Mark II right here, and I'm so curious to see what the difference is with the R6. It's nearly similar, but you can see a bit of difference here at this button with where it says camera and video. So apparently the Canon R6 Mark II is better with auto-focusing. Um, so we'll experience that tonight. I'm just gonna set it to the settings I'm gonna be using tonight, so that's already done. I didn't just buy one thing, I also bought this cube with which I can charge two batteries at the same time. Because I went to a photo shoot uh, the other day and both of my batteries died and I felt so terrible and shit and I don't want to experience that again. So now I can charge them at the same time and just keep the other charger in my camera bag. Okay, if the audio is a bit different now, I realized that I plugged in the microphone the wrong way. Something I actually wanted to add is at the start when I started filming, I always get a little bit awkward, especially in like public places like the cafe. Then I remind myself that for them, for other people, it is just a split second of their day. But for me, it means I'll have a good video that a lot of people hopefully get to enjoy. And it's so easy to get in your head about it, but I feel like I just need to remind myself sometimes about that. Just do it a lot of times and it'll get easier the more you do it. believe what I paid for this freaking shelf I paid four euros and 50 cents and it's perfect I was literally thinking about this today because now it just looks like this cluttered mess but at least now I can create a little bit more of a structure on that shelf so yeah I cannot believe I just made that for four euro and 50 cents and it only took me five minutes to place on the wall and it makes the biggest difference for me honestly because now I can see which focal length I'm actually looking at and it just looks nice to look at as well. Yes! So the next thing I want to do is set up a light because usually when I film my videos I have to set it up, film my video and I break it back down or how do you say that? Like deassemble it. So Sijun Tech sent me some light bars. These are the 5Ray C100 light bars. So I'm gonna set one up that when I wanna film something, I could just turn it on and I'm ready to go. Let's do that together. So I'm gonna place this diffuser on top of it so it gives more of a natural look. Cause if I just leave it like this, it is gonna look way too harsh. So I'm just planning on leaving it here, but for now I'm gonna move it around and show you what it looks like. This is without the light, and this is with the light. I feel like it looks so nice. 
All right, so I'm gonna pack for my portrait shoot that I have right now. I have to go in like five minutes, so I have to be quick. First thing I'm gonna bring is my Sigma 85mm, 28mm f1.4, the 50mm f1.4, my little POV harness. Then we need a bunch of batteries. The microphone set I'm using right now as well. And then last but not least, I'm gonna bring my ND filter because I don't know how bright it is outside. Of course, during the photo shoot, I wanna film everything as well. So I'll be using the R6 Mark II in combination with the 24 to 105 lens. And this is an f2.8. If I just set it up from a distance with my microphone, you can still hear me instruct the model. Actually, now that I think about it, I might actually shoot the photos with the R6 Mark II. So I'm very curious to see what that will do during my photos. Okay, I think I completely forgot to tell you that I actually managed to find a model, but we only have half an hour to shoot. So I'm now on my way. It is 7.30, sun goes down at 8.30, so we have to hurry. But she lives very close to me, so that works out perfectly. Um, ik denk inderdaad gewoon lekker grote bewegingen. Oh, dat is vet. Kun je dan iets in het midden gaan staan? Ja, deze houding is echt... Holy moly! Ja, wauw. Oh, wat mooi. Misschien ook wel cool is. Kijk even of dit comfy voor je voelt. Een beetje naar de camera toe bewegen. Oké, okay, I'm sorry I haven't been talking to you as much as I normally do, but we are such in a time crunch. So, yeah. Het valt wel mee. Hoe ver zult ze tot zo, denk ik, hè? Oh, het is vol, hè? Dat hele effect zie je niet, het is toch raar? Ja, dat is wel een beetje gek, hè? Wim Hof, jij bent echt een bikkel, man. Holy shit. Ja, prachtig. Oh wow, oh wow. Oh. Oh, you're very tilted. I can't tell if I'm angled now or not. As you can see, we have come to the end of my day and I'm actually pretty bummed about it because it was so much fun bringing you along for it. Not that I thought it would be shit to capture, but more so I genuinely felt like I wasn't alone and you were there for it. I would love to hear what you think of this video. I enjoyed using the R6 Mark II for this photo shoot a lot. I felt like the autofocus was definitely faster and better than the R6 and also Correct me if I'm wrong, I might be delusional here, but I felt like the shutter sound was louder as well. Or maybe I just want it to be louder because I love loud shutter buttons. <laughs> About the photos, all of them are edited using my Lightroom presets. I pretty much edit every single one of my photo shoots with my preset pack. So if you want to check it out, you can download it via the link in my description. I've also added a bunch of editing tutorials in there as well. And some of my raw photos for you to play around with. That was it. That's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. And I also hope to see you at my next one.